Question 15. So part A, let's just, because this is multiply here, we can just take the cube root of each part. So the cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of 10 to the 6 is 10 to the 2. Remember, I'm thinking of something that I multiply it by itself, multiply it by itself again, and it gives me 10 to the 6. So the answer is 10 times, uh, sorry, 2 times 10 to the 2, which is effectively 200 if you prefer to write it like that. Part B, well, 14 to the power of a half, that means the square root of, uh, sorry, 144. So that'd be 12. And then we're going to multiply by, now it's 64 to the minus a third. So what I prefer with the negative, um, I prefer to do it like this, just rewrite it what a negative power actually means. Now we'll deal with 64 to the power of a third. So that just means the cube root of 64, which is four. So the whole thing is equal to 12 multiplied by one over four, which equals three. Now part C, uh, the key here is rewriting the second part, one over 81. I need to get a three. I need to use, I need to have three as the base number because there's a three over here. So let's just rewrite this and then it just becomes so much easier. So it will be, I want a base number of three. Now I can see, so three to the power of four is 81, but it's, it's going to be a negative there because it's one over 81 is, is where we're trying to get to. So now we can simply say 2x equals minus 4. 2x equals minus 4. Divide both sides by 2 and we get x equals minus 2.